What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Boosted GS. We got another scorecard interview. Please, please introduce yourself for everybody. What is going on? It's Q to the M, Queen Mother representative, almost outstanding. Those is alive. Uh, shout out to what? Shout out to, uh, to you, Steve, to the GS uh, gang. Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to the entire battle rap culture. What's good? You know what it is. Yo, this is long overdue. Uh, I first want to start off by saying thank you for taking the time to come and chop. Uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be a good one. We got some great topics lined up, uh, get some deep dive on these conversations. Uh, I also personally want to be able to pick your brain from the media side of things and get some gems from you out of it. Uh, I'm a very, very selfish human being. So anything that I can steal from you, I'm absolutely going to hijack <laughs> Uh, and then also we want to, you know, get an idea of what the, the lay of the land is going to be for the rest of the year for those of us who were excited and patiently waiting on what the next appearances are going to be and stuff like that. So are you ready to get into this? I'm excited. You ready to get your, get your, get your shit off right now? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's, Let's get, get into it. it. Let's talk about it. So uh, Queen Moda, all right, you are from a word on the streets. How did you get involved with the league? Because you've been, you obviously you've been in it long before you know the name change and everything like that. What was uh, what's your origin story? Yeah. Tell tell us how that got started. Okay, um, it was right after I battled uh, the genius. Um, that was uh, a while back. I started battle rap in twenty seventeen and um, had a couple of um, opponents um, after Dabu the Gen and I, and then battled the genius. Right after I battled the genius, uh, Flow Show reached out to me and then um, invited me to the, the then um, Battle Rap Nigeria group. And then when I got on there, um, the welcome was quite warm. Everybody, you know, just sort of like, we all just blended in and started getting to know each other. And I got close to a couple of people, a lot of, a lot of the people on, on you know, Battle Rap Nigeria. And then it then began to, um, I started doing more of a WhatsApp uh, um, video battles. That was the first time I was on Battle Rap Nigeria. I started doing um, WhatsApp videos, um, video battles. And then, of course, that helped me to maintain consistency because the distance from where I am to Lagos and always being around for live, live battles was not all that um, uh, possible for me because of my job and, of course, um, the distance, like I said before. So being on uh, doing the video, the video battling, it kept me consistent, really helped me work on my on my craft, and I got a lot of encouragement from the, the league owners. We're talking John, we're talking Flow Show at the time, and then um, things kept going on strong. Met a very, very talented. I have to tell you, the talents on on uh, Battle Rap Nigeria now, what they are amazing, amazing talents. And the thing is, you know, there's something nice. even the Bible says, pardon me, say that iron sharpened iron. So associating with these guys helped, you know, sharpen my craft and then my skills, and then everything is just. Amazing. The experience has been amazing up till this. And I know we still have so much more ahead of us in the future. So, yeah, it's been a fantastic experience so far. Yeah, it's just getting started, baby. This is this is the origin story. This is about to blow up. First of all, shout out to Unk. Uh, great, great recruiting. Shout out to Flo. You already know what it is, my guy. Uh, <laughs> Jung is nothing but love. Like, yo, this, this that's that's yeah. awesome. Um, So how, how long... How how many battles with you know the BRN slash Word on the Streets do you have under your belt total uh, so far at this point in your career? I lost count. I lost count. It's it's a lot. It's really a lot. Uh, the first person I battled was um, uh, Bad Girl Yada. After Bad Girl Yada, it was uh, I think um, Big Zef. After Big Zef, it was Kenny Wheel. And then we got into the um, World Cup um, tournament. I think it was in 2021. Uh, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't even know how many. I don't even know how many. I've not particularly counted them, but it's been a lot. It's been a lot. The opportunities right, have the, come consistently. So the bodies are piling up. I, I, I see you. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> what has been? What has been your most memorable battle so far? Like, what's been like the pinnacle for you? That's like ah, like. This was my moment in battle rap. Like I like this. This has been my. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the summit of my shit so far. I will have to say my battle versus Dami. You know why I say that? Because that it was at that point I started getting international recognition. 
And that was exactly what I wanted. So um, I can't forget that it's a monumental moment in my battle rap career because from that moment I started getting the attention of people like um, uh, 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 Debo of Queen of the Ring, um, uh, Big Queen of the Ring, people like um, the Bonnie Godiva, people like Tia S, uh, even uh, Jazz the Rapper, uh, uh, My Girls. Instead of getting that low soul, street hymns, people that I really admire, people I really admire, um, or, you know, at least retweeting these bars, you know, the, some of the clips that were right. dropped online, retweeting the bars and showing that what made me most happy was where they kept on saying things like, oh, we've got bars in the motherland, we've got bars in the motherland. And that, that, made, me, that made me very, very happy. I'm like, yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. There Talk so that many of shit. Us. <laughs> we need, need to come get this. We need to come see. We need to come hear us. Because yes, 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 we have. Because a lot of times people feel it's a it's a foreign um, a battle rap as a culture is not um, is not present in Nigeria. But from that moment, from that point, I felt like I was a part of the foundation of that history being made in Nigeria. That battle rap culture is being projected internationally. So that's just. I'm not saying that that's my best battle, but um, it's it's from that battle that I I, I can start saying yes. This is where. Baby girl, if you were playing before, don't play no more. Let's go. So how do you how do you top that then? What's like the next thing that you can do to get that feeling back and, and like bring it to the next level then? What's the next step in that for you? Ah, the next step is I need I want I want to battle outside this country, man. That's what I, I really want. I want to I want to like get first of all get on get maybe Ghana, first of all, and then from there move on to other places. But to be honest with you, I, I would love to have, um, I would love to have one, a, a big name, a big name, you know, to, to battle. And um, I'm looking at someone like Jazz the Rapper. I really love her. I really, really love her. And in the future, in the future, I'm, someone I'm really working up my bars to see if I can battle is Pristavia. Pristavia, that lady is a beast. That lady is a monster, and if 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 I can have someone like we actually follow each other on Twitter, and um, she's really nice, she's really nice, always showing support, and um, it's 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 that's fire. It's just for us to, to to get the culture out there. Like I, I really want to do that. So that's that's the next step for me. I, I want to like take this thing outside this country. But till then, I'm just gonna keep working on my bars to ensure that um, the standard doesn't drop. Well, we got a couple a couple of really dope things are taking place at the same time about that right now. So let's pick your brain on them. Uh, number one, you had mentioned, you know, everything with Ghana. And right now there are, you know, some some talks on the table of bringing word on the streets and lyrical wars together for more occasions uh, to get some international battles popping on each of the platforms. Is that something that that's like that? That's the goal then is you want to you want to catch a body from another country? Would you rather like so is the idea like yo, you want to go to Ghana and battle on lyrical wars or you want the first person from lyrical wars that they're sending over to word on the streets? Like what's the what's the ideal scenario? Scenario for you with that? Well, the ideal scenario it doesn't have to be lyrical wars. I'm sure there could be other there could be other platforms where one could, you know, get that get that play from. So if if someone else coming down here, some if that's also good. That's also good because their own demographic is going to be looking out, you know, looking out for for the battle. So that's just basically adding to um, Nigerian battle rap culture being projected out there. So. Any, any way, any way, any way it goes, but preferably I'd love to take my um, brand out there, take my brand, out, my, my brand out there and, you know, do my thing. So yeah, that's, that's the, that's actually the, the first, um, Very cool. the top desire. Yeah. All right. And then the, uh, the, the lesser version of that, I guess, especially because you have the history with the video battles, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, I think that the Twitter space battles, we got the, the B day card event that's going to be coming up. We've already discussed yeah. about, you know, if, if you got time, she may bless us with a little something, something, if she can fit <laughs> us in the schedule for that. Um, but yeah, so the, the, the Twitter space battle thing is definitely going to have uh, a lot of opportunity for international stuff. Uh, do you see that being yes. an avenue like, like to, to really get that stuff popping with the Twitter spaces? Definitely. Definitely. I see that as a very, in fact, I'm so I'm so happy that such opportunities are presenting, you know, is, is presenting itself. Like um, just um, last night, our very own generic went off on Twitter spaces. I can't remember the name of our opponent, 
but she 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 cut a body. I have to tell you that. And I was Let's so proud. Of this, this is what we're talking about here. This is what we're talking about here. Like people people need to get to know that. I'm, I'm most proud because she's a female. She's a female repping Nigeria out there and catching a body. And she battled a guy, and she caught that body like clean. It was clear. There was no there were no questions about it. We had people from. Okay, like uh, J2 was one of the judges of the battle. And he basically, everybody gave her the win. It was clear. It was clean. So it, it, nice. it goes to show that um, she, even, she even got Miss Hustle talking. That was, was that, was, that, was his, that was his tournament, wasn't it? Is that what you're talking about? She was in that joint? I seen, uh -huh. I seen, did, 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 was that the one that J2 was like hosting or something like that? I seen that was supposed to go down yeah, like this he, weekend, he right? He was a judge. He was a judge. He was yes, a judge? Weekend, okay. Yes, he was a, he was a judge on it. Yeah, and um, she even got Miss Hustle talking because you know there was a there was a battle between that was supposed to go down between uh, Loso and Miss Hustle. Um, I think it just like a few days ago, or was it last night or so? But uh, Jazz the rapper had to replace her, so there was this bar about uh, deposits and Miss Hustle, and then um, uh, Generic dropped a bar about and she used Miss Hustle in there, but it wasn't it wasn't a diss, it was just a metaphor. She was just you know word. Right. But then she got Miss Hustle talking. She actually got Miss Hustle talking at the end of the day. But it was still, it was still something. It was still yeah, something, you know. Absolutely, it, it, that's it, fine. To me, it's exactly it's publicity. It's publicity. So it is, it is a fantastic opportunity. The, the battle, the space, a battle on spaces. I, I really, I really, I really look forward to having such an opportunity come up for me, and I will definitely take it seriously. So yeah. You heard it here, baby. We're going to be getting those international battles popping. Look out for the Twitter space cards. Look out for, uh, you know, you'll be seeing you'll be seeing Queen Motor pop up maybe on some of these leagues, catching some international bodies, repping word on the streets. Uh, how do you feel like that that uh, that does for the league? Do you think that, that that's going to give word on the streets the opportunity to, to get their name out there more? Do you think that waters it down because there's, you know, too many different styles? You know, because you do have like leagues that specifically only operate on Twitter space or only do live battles. Do you think that waters down the league or do you think it's just more more views, more opportunity, like all, all publicity is good publicity type thing? All publicity is good publicity. Okay, let me not say all because there's some kind of publicity. If they're negative, you don't want to be known for the wrong reasons. But um, every opportunity, you know, we are the, this digital era has presented so many opportunities for people to get their material out there. So content is easier to spread content. So if if, if, if it's it's not just it's not it shouldn't be um, leagues like Word on the Streets can benefit from battle rap, you know, um, as battling on spaces. So it's very important that every league, not just one on the street, every league, because every battle rapper is a brand on their, of their, on their own. And if, if each brand is, is in individually promoted, you are also promoting your own league. So every, if, if, if you can't be, you can't be um, um, uh, focused on one angle, you know. You have to be across board. You have to try your best to like push your, your artists and your, your, uh, your, uh, the, the skill sets that you, you know, that you have available with you. You have to push, you have to use, utilize every platform. So. I think what on the streets can definitely benefit from getting their their, their rappers uh, you know on on spaces and battling out there with international uh, brands. It's it is important. Very dope. I look forward to seeing it. I think I think we're gonna get a we're, we're gonna get some classics out of it. I think we're gonna see some classic mm -hmm. matchups. That like you know you said you there there may have been some issues uh, from time to time with location and you know being able to travel at the drop of a hat. All that goes away once the Twitter space opportunity opens up. Then it's just have your bars mm -hmm. ready on this date and let's get at it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, it, and the Twitter community is such a large one. It's global. Yeah. It's you never know who's going to tap community. in. Uh, you never know who's going to tap in. You never know. You never know. You never know who's going to tap in. And the people you've been watching, the URL guys, the, uh, the Red Read guys, the people, the King of the Dot, anybody, anybody, anybody can just can just log in, in and then they see you and tap in and before you know what's going on, your name is out there from the comfort of your home. So it's it's important to utilize this. It's important to utilize that opportunity. It is. It is. So yeah, let's go. I agree completely. What's that? So uh, let, let's talk about the media side of things too, because you're you're not just a battler, right? She look, we, it's not yeah. just all bars, all right. We we got a little media finesse working in there too. Uh, tell us about the podcast, how that got started, the journalism side of things. Uh, let them know you're you're not a one trick pony up in here. <laughs> okay, yeah, I have my own podcast channel. It's called the Queeniverse Podcast, Queeniverse. Um, like uh, of course you know my name is Queen Mother, so. 
um, I, I call it my universe, the podcast, my universe. So that's that's what that's what one about the name Queeniverse. So um, I the focus is is, is um, to to take people deeper into the entire battle rap culture, not just to you know for you to appreciate something. Like I always say, for you to appreciate something, you have to understand the process, the how, the how, how it, how things are, how things are put together the efforts that battle rappers would, because a lot of times people see these battles and they're like, oh, ah, you choked. Hey, you didn't get your material out there. Da, 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 da. And they forget, they forget to see the dedication. They forget to see the, the, the mental investment that battle rappers have to put into ensuring nice. that they get their materials out there. And you have to be intelligent to be a battle rapper. You have to be, you have to read. You have to you have to open your mind. You can't be you can't be myopic minded and be a battle rapper. You will just your 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 lyric your your, your punches will be shallow. You won't have depth. She she understands. So there's a whole lot that even personally there's a lot that I you, you could hear a bar, and because of when people the way people are reacting, you say oh what is that? You take notes of it and then you go Google it or you go study up on it and then you you you, you have new knowledge. And so there's so many things that one could learn. There's so many things that. Battle rap as a culture has saved has saved a lot of young people, people oh. who are who who did not have an outlet for their creativity, for their creative juices to be let out. So instead of going out there getting engaged in gangs and doing negative things, battle rap is an outlet where yeah, they can still get that rush, get that feel, and be creative with it, and still pass knowledge and you know along. So it, I, I felt like battle rap is beyond what you see on stage, is beyond just the performance. We need to get to talk to the battle rappers. We need to pick their brains. You need to learn from them because there are people who want to do this thing, but they can't without having that in-depth knowledge, without having, have, without having that understanding. And also for the battle rappers to tell their own side of the story, instead of being judged by people who watch them just by their punches, judge them by their dedication, judge them by their commitment, judge them by... How I love this shit. Let's is. go. So, so that's, that's the reason for the podcast anyway, the Universe podcast. So, yeah. Yo, that was beautiful. First of all, that how how much is that not talked about enough? I'll tell you what. I, I am a huge, huge, huge proprietor of battle rap, probably having been one of the things that kept me out of jail as a teenager. Like, that is. Like, just mm-hmm. the, with the, you talking about, like, how this is, like, it had been an outlet for the aggression, for the, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, like mm-hmm. the intelligence, like, all that stuff, just to have the outlet, a positive outlet, to channel all of that energy, especially as being a young teen, you know what I'm saying, mixed up in the fucking, come on, man. Like, that's not talked about at all. That's fire. That's super mm-hmm. dope. Make sure you guys mm-hmm. uh, chime in to the to the pod. Uh, I'm going to try and get up there and learn a thing or two myself if uh, if she'll have me as a guest, but it's going to be absolutely oh, definitely. fire. You're definitely Come on, let's on that go. You're definitely coming on the podcast because we need to talk about the media side of things and how 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 uh, uh, how we need to, the, the aspects of battle rap that people need to start looking at in order to respect the craft. And not just wait for the material and then it drops. That's why uh, the series I I I, I have been running, um, although I've been having some issues with um, uh, 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 my my gadgets, I've been having some issues with them, but uh, I'm working on it. So we're going to be getting more material out there. So the, the the series I started, the process where I get two battle rappers who have battled each other before, they get to come out and they get to talk to each other. You know, talk about the you know the 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 the, um, the, the bars that they put in what they were thinking about, how they were feeling, you know, moments leading up to the performance. So, and again, there's a lot of people that watch Battle Rap and they feel, oh, these niggas are really, really aggressive towards each other. They could go outside and start shooting each other. So they need to, people need to understand that it's actually just mutual respect. It's respect. It's respect. If I go hard against you, it means I respect your craft for me not to sleep on you. Do you get? Thanks. So there's a lot of, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot that people need to understand. These Battle Rappers respect each other. There is love there. There is love there, and it's just um, each of them trying their best to make sure that they don't misuse or take for granted an opportunity to up their game. So at the same time, uh, the, the process is where battle rappers who have battled each other talk about their favorite bars, what inspired those bars, how they put the bars together, so that anybody listening who wants to actually do this can have an idea on you know, the equation to follow if they're going to get to an answer. So it's just basically the process. So I would also like to definitely pick your brain. So yes, we're getting you on the podcast. Definitely. You heard it here. That that's that's contractually binding as far as I'm concerned. It's it's on the internet. It's there yeah. forever. 
Let's go. Look, that this sounds fine. This sounds like like obviously as a battle rap nerd myself, like like just a, a, a you know lover of the craft. It sounds like it's nothing but just gold after gold after gold. So just to, to get the opportunity to be a part of that would be super, super fire. I appreciate that. That would be lovely. Okay. This does bring us to nat. This is, a, this is a very natural transition here. This is going to be super smooth. You're going to think I planned this, but I didn't. So the idea of uh, that segment where you have kind of like a the opposite of a face off, right? It's like a post battle recap, right? Um, yes. Yes. The, there are some some possible changes on the horizon, uh, specifically in the Nigerian battle rap scene, uh, where the league is talking about implementing some new rules or guidelines, uh, specifically yeah. around the material that they want to, to be involved in the face-offs and in the communications outside of the actual battles. Uh, so for those yeah. of you who aren't, who aren't tapped in with the situation, uh, essentially what the idea is, is how do we create an environment within the league uh, that is promoting the idea of what Queen Moto was already talking about, which is the idea that this isn't real life beef, that this is a creative outlet, right? To, to be able to foster that environment without losing the edge that this is still battle rap, right? So it's about finding that balance between, you know, where is the line? What is it that we want the, the league to represent and things like that? What are your thoughts on, on this? Do you think that there should be any type of regulations of, around the material that can be talked about or used in a face-off uh, or a battle itself for that matter? Do you think it should be uh, gloves off all the time, no matter what? What what are What is your own personal view and opinion of that? Okay, um, first of all, we have to understand that um, battle rap as a sport is um, it can be toxic. It has it has the it has the 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 natural tendency to be toxic. So moderation is key. Whenever it, for something not to get out of hand, because like we said, like we said, it's a very it's an emotional sport. It's an emotional sport. When you're when you're writing, you have to connect with your bars in order to perform and be believable. So a lot of times you see real emotions being expressed, real and raw emotions being expressed. When you hear things like struggle bars, you see you see sometimes these 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 niggas are talking about their real life struggles here. They're talking about the grimy part of the streets where they could have where where situations could go out of hand, and then these are people that have survived a lot, and they are still they're still working out that you know trying to like. Uh, get out that negativity in a creative way. So it's it there, and there's also that competitiveness that is there. It has to be. It's 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 one of the things that pushes um, the culture that makes it thrive as it is. That competitive, that spirit of competitiveness. But we cannot lose um, good sportsmanship. We can't lose it. So to ensure that good sportsmanship is maintained, so that we don't get a situation whereby our events investments go to waste because people are losing their minds so that's, so yes it's point. important that rules hmm. it's important that rules are involved for example no contact no physical contact that's one thing because no matter how much you're trying to express yourself you don't know the state of mind of the other person you don't know what you're saying like for example um uh when when you're being told about certain things about because you know when you're battling someone you have to dig up some dirt about the person so you can have some angles, but the thing is, you don't know how much she, that. She dirt said, that she said you, you have to. <laughs> you, have to you have to dig up some dirt. If, if, if you can't dig up some dirt, then you have to invent something. You have to invent some something that can that will be close close to the truth. <laughs> so it's it's part of it's part of what people do. It's part of what people do. But the truth is that you don't know, you don't know that dirt you're digging up. The way you're putting it across, you don't know how how much it's affecting that person you're talking to because that's still a human being. So at the same time, it's important that there are limitations, there are lines that are drawn so that there won't that excess of pushing over the edge. Because someone could be edgy, but don't push that person beyond. Don't push that person. So there has to be rules. And you know, it's mostly a male-dominated field. It's a testosterone, men wanting to prove themselves, men wanting to ensure <laughs> that, uh, yeah, you can only say certain things to me, but do not touch me, don't go beyond, don't. There has to be, it, it, is, it, is, it is a fact that emotions could run wild. Okay. So, yeah, but, is, there, so, is, there, so yes. is there is there any part of you that's hesitant mm -hmm. about it? Because you sound like you're fully in support of regulation. Is there any is there any yes. part of you 
that feels like, ah, maybe, maybe this is too much watering down. Is there any part of you that feels that way? Yeah. No, no. It, like I said, there has to, there is, the toxicity is huh? definitely a part of the culture. The, uh, the aggression has to be there. The competitiveness has to be there. But there has to be rules so we don't go overboard. So if, 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 if when I say there has to be some rules, I don't mean, okay, you now start telling me the bars I will see. Or telling me what I will not see. No. You're just asking me to be respectful to the person I'm battling. So as a human being, everybody has common sense. Everybody knows, everybody knows the limits. You as a person, as a battle rapper, you should know your limits. You should know your limit. But for, for the league, the league cannot control everybody. But there are general rules, like the one I mentioned, no physical contact. No physical contact. And then um, if you notice that something you're saying is uh, maybe like during the face-off, in the ring, you can say whatever you want. No physical contact, you can say whatever you want. But during face-offs and something like that, when you notice that tempers are be beginning to flare, it's getting too much, there should be some, some, sort of, some sort of avenue or some sort of way where things can be calmer so that the events can happen so that it, you know investments are not uh, uh, wasted so that things can go smoothly because if you, if you say okay we want to focus on the aggression and then we end up fighting or we end up uh, destroying something we are wasting the opportunity for everybody to get to to progress or to, to you know to get higher in this game right. do you understand my point so Absolutely. yes i'm trying Absolutely. to shred like i'm trying i'm trying to be careful but the most important thing is that it costs money to put these events together. It costs, it's not even just the money to put the events together. It's about the, the, the psychological investment at the time. There are people who are, have, who are going through struggles in life and still having to find time to battle. You have to respect those people's efforts too. Do you understand? Absolutely. So it's, 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 yeah. it, there's a whole lot involved and everybody has to do their part to respect the investment, the investment of the next man whether it's monetary or it's time or it's effort or it's even the presence of the fans at the venue. It's important that things are put in place. There should be a line drawn so that we don't go do overboard think, and end up losing. Do you think, do you think that, that, um, that those type of lines being drawn and those type of rules being implemented do you think that that's gonna um specifically in a place like nigeria right so you have a place where like uh underground battle rap you would not say is the number one commodity in the nigerian entertainment space right yeah, yeah. like we're, like mm -hmm. like we're working on that so do you think that like having those type of things in place make it more accessible to it to the average fan or to the average person who may want to participate like no one going into this you know what i'm saying like you don't have to worry about the biggest dude there coming and checking your pockets in front of yeah. everybody or something uh -huh. like that you know what i mean yeah see battle rap is so there are people who go who don't understand the, the, the who don't understand the, the art and they are literally scared of it because of the things they hear the bars they hear you see us talking about gun bars if my mother hears me saying i'm going to shoot someone in a battle, she'll call me and ask me, are you okay? Do we, you can, can, you can talk to me, I'm your mom, you can tell me anything, what's wrong? Do you understand my point? There's some, like, okay, for example, let me, let me tell you something. At my sister watched my battle versus the genius, watched my battle versus Dami, and she called me every time after to ask my, about whether I'm okay. Hey, if after being told all these things, I'm fine. Do you understand my point? So there are people who hear these things and they are like, these guys look like they're about to punch each other the next second. Are we sure these guys don't have guns on them? Do you understand my point? So they're because of the kind of the, the, the lyrics involved in battle rap. Yeah, no, I get, I, I get it. Yeah, we need to do a lot to make people, the average Nigerian or the average person, feel safe and enjoy the arts. So they have to, first of all, understand that they are not coming into, into a volatile environment. It's just the ring that you're seeing that aggression. But outside the ring, you're safe. You're good. You can come. Nobody's going to, like you said, gene check you or anything. You can come enjoy yourself. Like you mentioned, like in Nigeria, for example, we all know that there is a bias towards uh, mainstream music. Right. Battle rap is, yeah, battle rap is the rawest form of hip hop. It's the rawest form. There is no beats. There is no melod melodious uh, sounds that you, okay, maybe you're singing along and then maybe, nah, it's your bars. It's Don't your, it's your lyrics. Bars, it's your baby. That is all that, that is all that will speak for you. Okay. So it's, it's, it's going to take a lot more to get the people 
with the to to get to to make people get with the program. And the last thing we need is a, an environment where even we know how how the police is in this country. We know how the police is. We don't want to create a scenario where they can come in, round up everybody, and have and have and have some kind of some kind of phony case. But plausible, the there. some okay. plausible cause based on bullshit that's being said. Exactly, exactly. Right. We heard them say this. We heard them say that. Right. And then at the end of the day, you're know, trying to explain. No, it's just battle rap, and they have no freaking idea what it is. So the best thing we have to do, the best thing we can do, is to ensure that every event goes smoothly, is safe for everyone that comes in, and I can bring my friend who who has no idea what battle rap is, who has been listening to jazz all the mo- all through the morning, listening to soul music, right. and 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 have no idea what battle rap is. I can bring them in, and they understand the creativity. They enjoy the poetry because battle rap also has poetry in it. So right. you, they, they enjoy the creativity that is involved and they enjoy the expression, the passion, the emotion. That is that is that should be the focus. And no. not coming to not coming to show that, oh, I'm a tough guy and nobody can mess with me. That's not what we're talking about. It's your bars, your creativity that we're looking for. We have to ensure that we enhance the enjoyment, the the, the, the enjoyment that people can get out of it and then nope. what they can learn and appreciate the craft. Nobody goes to a to a boxing ring to a boxing card and expects to get punched in the face. You know what exactly. I mean? Like like creating that idea. Like what's what's happening in the ring is just what's happening in the ring has absolutely nothing ring, to do yes, with, yes. with you as a spectator. Unless you're one of the five hundred dudes who are running up and grabbing shirts, because whatever happens to you, I think karma <laughs> karma karma deserves. Y'all be getting on my motherfucking I know, nerves. I, I noticed you, you you really hate that. You really hate it when people come and grab shirts when they hear a bar. That is crazy. You really don't like it. I've noticed in all just, your reactions. Not, just things. like you every know, bar, every bar. <laughs> the setup, you had the grip of shirt on the setup. You had the, like, come on, man. <laughs> when you overdo it, it loses its meaning. You know what I'm saying? When every bar is like, ah, ah, your shirt don't even fit you by the time you've done the battle. Like that's that, that's another expense. They don't talk, we don't talk about the laundry expense of being a battle rapper, especially if you got bars. Like that shit don't I go back to normal. Come on, man! What are we? What we what, oh, come on! They're killing us out here. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about some, let's talk about highlights. Um, for uh for 2022, Word on the Streets did their first ever uh award ceremony at the end of the year. Uh, yes, I was yes. very very privileged to have had the opportunity to be a part of the judging panel for it. I think it was really, really well done, uh, well put together. I think a, a lot of sincerity went into the the voting process, went into the selection process for the nominees. Uh, it was beautiful to see. What, what was as somebody who was also nominated in some of those categories? Uh, how did it, how did it go off for you? Do you feel like it was well done? Do you had some gripes about it? What what are your what are your feelings about it? I think everybody did an amazing job. Can I be honest with you, Steve? Can I be honest? And people will say, any people on what when they hear this part of the interview now, they'll be like, oh my God, Queen Mother for once, enough with the Kumbaya. <laughs> that's just what I, like that's what I'm known for. But the truth of the matter is that um I am so proud of every person that was nominated. I am I am so proud. I have you have I'm I'm not being I'm not I'm no no cap, no cap, even if I'm wearing one. No cap at all. No cap. I'm being very, very honest. When I saw when I saw the lineup, the nominations, I'm like, first of all, you can't nominate everybody. Thanks. You, can't, you can't nominate everybody. But the truth is that every battle rapper on Watts is a potential killer, lyrically. Every battle rapper. You have you have to learn well, from, you have you you have a lot to learn from every single one of them. Don't, don't, Kenny. don't, don't, don't shake your head. Don't shake your head. I knew you were going to do that. Kenny, uh, Kenny, ah, uh, see, see, your next card, you should battle Kenny. I want to see you battle Kenny. I want to see you battle Kenny for real, Steve. I want to see you battle Kenny. Honestly. I'm just, a, I'm just, a, I'm just a reactor. I'm just a media guy. What do I know? Oh, yeah. Okay. You throw stones and hide your hands. I see. No, you are going to battle Kenny and I'm going to start a hashtag movement on Twitter for that one. Hashtag Kenny versus Steve. We must see that battle. <laughs> I might, okay, I might have to, I might have to come that side for that one. 
please do, please do. I'm going to, I'm going to get, uh, let Kenny know that yes, you're ready. <laughs> okay. Like basically everybody, everybody, everybody nominated deserves to win. Everybody, everybody nominated deserves to win. But then those that emerged, those that emerged are just basically going to, um, be like, uh, landmarks landmarks for for anybody else who wants to get there again next year so like i said before everybody cannot be nominated and everybody cannot win so no matter no matter how anybody feels about who won everybody that won you have to find out what that person has that made that person get there and then watch the person if you have your reservations i have no reservations about any any one of them rookie of the year hybrid well deserved um uh, performance of the year gaddafi well deserved. Um, champ of the year, you three, are you kidding me? Well deserved. Battle of the year, uh, I think it was uh, Gaddafi versus, um, versus Zami. Although, I wouldn't lie, there, there are other options, but well deserved too. Well deserved too. Well deserved. And um, most improved, Joe Vegas. Oh my gosh. Yo, Vegas, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga. Let me just keep my mouth short, Sam. I mean, I have my own, my own opinion about the guy. Just, ah, no, that, that dude, that dude, he, he's just, he's amazing. He's amazing. And um, no, that's, that, the, the award, what's awards, it was, it was a very good idea. It was a very good idea. And it shows that everybody's work is appreciated. It shows that there's nothing you do that is going under the radar. So yes, it is a very, it's a, it's a good way to encourage the people and to motivate the others. So yes, yes. So, Fantastic if there was, job on the awards. If there was one award that you had in your sights that you were gunning for for 2023, which award would you want to uh, shoot for the most? Ah. Okay. First of all, I want to start performing more. I, I don't know if I can get performance of the year. I don't know. But um, I would love to, I would really love to have um, that, um, uh, was there was there any category for round of the year? I think it was round of the year. Right? There's there's three. I think there was uh, three winners for round of the year. They picked three different yes. uh, three different options for them. Round of the year, round of the year. I would love to have that one. Round of the year. So yeah, have that in my sight. All right, you heard it. So you heard it here, guys. I don't know who who's gonna be the victim that she's gonna be unloading this on. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be looking for a, a stellar performance uh, for one of these rounds to be taken at home with. Um, cool. So that, that's the goal going forward. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about some something uh, super annoying. You ready? All right. <laughs> so we're going over topics, right? And like I said, I really appreciate having the opportunity to get you on here and stuff like that. And a lot of Thank the generic topics me. are going to constantly come up where it's like, how do you feel as a female in battle rap? Or how do you feel about this mm. as a female in battle rap? Or how do you feel about, so here's my question is, does it get old? <laughs> like, does it, does it get annoying to you uh, to constantly be asked to speak from the female in battle rap perspective about the sport or is it kind of just come with the territory or is it a good thing? Is it like, nah, I like being able to, to be a representative for, you know what I'm saying? Getting more females into battle rap by being able to talk about it. Like wh where do you fall on the spectrum of they're beating a dead horse? Like, let me, let's talk about some other shit versus like, nah, like this is important until we have equal representation. Okay. First of all, my high blood, sorry. My blood pressure is very important to me. So I don't sweat the small stuff. I don't like sweating the small stuff. So at some, at some point, it, it, it got annoying. But then I had to sit back and ask myself, yo, QM, in every sport, there are two categories. There is the male and the female. No matter where you go in this life, the female aspect of whatever it is you do, it will always come up. It, it will always come up. It's a subject that it can't, I, can't, I can't be offended about it. What I get offended at is where you lower your expectations because it's a female. That's where I get offended. That's where I get upset. Lowering your expectations. What happens to looking at my skill set? What happens to looking at the same amount of dedication that I'm putting in? that you see other battle rappers fitting in. 
Why don't we look at that? Why look at my gender? My gender should not be the basis for you judging whether or not I'm gay. That's why I get upset. You say, oh, she's a female. Ah, this girl. I hate that. I hate that with a passion. But if it's about asking me, oh, how does it feel to be a female in battle rap? It feels good. It feels good to be a female in battle rap because I'm sure it feels good to be a male in battle rap, to be a human being in battle rap. It feels great. It feels great. And Let's I really, go. I really would love to see, I really would love to see more females come out so that it can, you know, the energy can balance out a little bit more. Okay. But, um, we are more about skill set. It's about skill set, respect for the craft, respect for the, the, the person's dedication and, and how much effort they are putting into what they do. That's where you should, that's the point you should judge me from. Have I been consistent with what, that, with what I'm putting out there? Like, let's say when I, when I come, when I'm, when I'm placed, when I'm put on a card, do I bring, do I um, um, go all out? Does it show that I, I actually put up a good show and the time that you invest to watch me, you, you didn't waste it? Or, you, you know, the, the, the data that you're using to stream my battle, you didn't waste it because you enjoyed it. That is, that, is, that, is where the, that is where you should ask me questions about, you know, like, okay, um, how much, how, um, how, 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 how can you, how can you balance out your regular life with your battle rap life? That's, that's, those, these are the questions, but judging me by my gender, that's, that's, that's just shallow. It's really shallow. And I think I've been in a couple of conversations and um, people were talking about battle rappers. I was there. I was like, it was right in front of me. People were talking about battle rappers. And these niggas didn't know I'm a battle rapper. They didn't know. So they're talking about battle rapper. And I, I sort of like cheap taste something. And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing I heard was, na woman, na, na big, na so. No, just fear, just fear, na woman. Ha, see. I just... Google just, me, I motherfucker. <laughs> I got up and I left. I got up and I just left. As in, you don't know who the fuck I am. I got up and I left. I'm not saying you don't know who I am because, oh, it's Queen Mother. No. I'm a part of that culture you're talking about. Forget my gender. I'm a part of that culture you're talking about. I'm a part of the foundation of that culture in Nigeria that you're talking about. Anybody, anybody, doesn't matter what my gender is. Anybody that has put in work deserves respect. So I don't get tired about people asking me, of uh, me being a female in battle rap, no. What I get tired of is when people start judging me by my gender and not what I bring to the table. How, how do you feel you have been, uh, specifically, let's talk about from like battle rap media, right? Specifically from the comment section, specifically from, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the reaction that you've gotten uh, for the impact that you've had with Word on the Streets. Uh, do you yeah. feel, do you feel like it's proportionate to the ability that you have? Do you feel like, uh, what am I trying to say? Do you feel like the love has been there or do you feel like the, that, that kind of looking down and coddling because of your gender, uh, is, is more prominent? If I didn't, if, if, if I felt like they were looking down on me, I would have left worse a long time ago. Okay. You cannot thrive in an environment you can't thrive in an environment where you're not being given that room to, at least for, for the benefit of the doubt, even if not at least to, that room to, to project yourself. Because if they're looking down on me, they will hardly call me for a card. They will be, they, they don't look oh, down no, no, on no, me. No, 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 not from the, not from the organization, not from the league. I'm talking about from like the comment sections, from the peanut okay. galleries and, and you know what I'm saying? Like from the media and things like okay. that. That, that that not from the the league itself or setting up the cards but i'm talking about like you know what i'm okay. saying like you're talking about like how you you walk in on conversations and you know what i'm saying like you just said like x y and z mm -hmm. didn't didn't know who you were just in general when you're looking at feedback you know what i'm saying from the the twitter comments from the you know what i'm saying from the comment section do you feel like people are more like now nah, we fuck with her because she's got bars like she's out here catching bodies like she is her or do you feel like it's more like ah you know what i'm saying she's cool for a chick type thing Sometimes, sometimes I get that vibe, yeah. Sometimes I get that vibe. But for my sanity, I don't usually look at the comments. That's probably the smartest. That's the best gem that we've dropped so far in this thing. <laughs> Those comment sections will keep you up at night, let me tell you. <laughs> sometimes you get some people condescending. And sometimes everybody has the opinion about everybody's voice. So 
I don't think important. Cool. All right. We we just uh we lost it for a second, so we're waiting for the feed to catch up. It looks like. Ba -ba. All right. Let's give it a Sometimes second. Sometimes I just go check it because yeah, you can expect cool things, and then every, every time I see a disrupt, I don't know if uh, if, if you can tell me. So much people, don't say that. Don't say that about her. You need to check out this. You need to check that. So you, you see, there are people who actually who actually um who who are like even though they don't battle. They're the gods of the gates of the cultures. So they, they know they don't they don't let you disrespect the battle rappers. If you're if you're if you're if you're if you're coming to say some condescending shit, they immediately they immediately come on as in um, um, those who are more in tune, who are more um familiar with us, who are more familiar. All right, we're gonna pause this while this catches up real quick. Yeah. And we're back. All right. So as as you were saying, we had some network issues. It's all right. We got through it. We're back. Uh, so go ahead. Uh, as you were saying, you can pick up where you left off. Yeah, like I was saying, um, in general, in general, let me just like round it off here. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. All right. So in general. Yes, there are some people who can who can go who can go the condescending route with their comments. Yeah, and most times I just don't let it bother me. Or if 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 I'm if I'm feeling some type of way about it, I just log out of the comment section entirely and just focus on the battle. But then I have to give kudos to the battle. Some some people in the battle rap culture they they jump to defend to my defense immediately when I start when they start seeing these condescending statements. I see people jump to my defense. So I most of the time don't have to say anything. And then, you know, the future belongs to the... Ah, hopefully the she catches up in a second. I just come, everybody gets, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that what a what a good feeling that shift is too from like that going through that like oh my god I had to go defend myself in every comment section after my first battle and talk my shit so you get to that nah, point where it's like shit. nah they they talk for me I I get the bar to speak for myself you know what I'm saying the the fans are gonna defend me on their own like that that's what a what a what a beautiful transition that is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I appreciate it. Every time it happens, I really appreciate them for that. I really do. I really do. All right, so um, we uh we went to talk about this uh a little bit before we started recording, um, and it's it's on that same topic of like constantly being asked, you know, I mean, saying to speak from the female perspective and things of that nature. Uh, but Alpha Hybrid and I actually ended up having a conversation where you came up, um, and he was dropping his two cents, um, about females in battle rap and and how he has his own ruling stuff like that and it got to that point where you just have like two yeah. dudes talking about a female topic and it was kind of like uh we should probably put a pin in this and wait to get a female perspective instead of us just beating our heads against each other coming up with you know what we think is the right answer so i wanted to i wanted to throw the scenario at you of, of how this unfolded um and and get your perspective on it um if you're cool with that if, if you, you know i'm saying to 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 pick yeah, your sure, brain sure. on that sure Cool. Sure. So uh, it, it started off with the idea of um, what we can say and not say in face offs versus in battles, so on and so forth. And Alpha Hybrid made the comment saying, like, he would never call you a bitch, you know what I'm saying, in a battle or in a face off, because that's not the way that, you know, he was raised to treat women. That's not the way that he is comfortable with speaking with women, so on and so forth. Um, but he has no problem calling somebody like, Kenny will a bitch for obvious reasons. So like the, the comment and the way that that ended up devolving in the conversation or evolving throughout the conversation is, is I actually, that. I, I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you for a bit because of, uh, I guess the network was doing like something. Okay. I couldn't hear you for a bit. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, so Al Alpha Hybrid had made a comment about what he is comfortable versus not comfortable saying to females based on how he treats women in real life. Uh, reflects in how he treats them in battle rap or he would have no problem like he would never call you a bitch in a battle or a face-off but would have no problem calling kenny will a bitch for obvious reasons so <laughs> the, the the comment the, re the retort to that is is it not misogynistic in and of itself 
if rappers are going to hold back particular bars or insults to you based on your gender, thinking that they're doing a chivalrous thing, is that not in and of itself a misogynistic view in this sport? Like, like what is your view on that? Are you like, nah, like, I respect a man who's not going to cross those lines? Or is it like, motherfucker, I'm in the mud too. Like, if you're going to say it to fucking, you know what I'm saying, X, Y, and Z, you better be willing to say it to me too or I'm going to take your head off. Like, like where where do we fall on that? What's the what's the perspective that you respect the most, I guess? Well, like, what, what, what's it look like through your lens? Every person has their own... Um... Their own personal rule that they go by. They don't call their fellow, they wouldn't call it a male rapper bitch. For example, Loso doesn't use those words. A word doesn't do a word doesn't use those words. There are a lot of battle rappers who will not curse. They will not curse, they will not, they will not say anything about anything, uh, any different terms. So, but they will end up still having amazing performances and shooting very dope bars so for if alpha says that okay if alpha representing the people who have the same sentiments it's up to you i wouldn't say that's misogynistic i won't say that's misogynistic if you can still you can still you can still present you can still come up with dope bars and stay away from um uh, disrespectful terminologies that's fine and good Ooh. All right, let's pause one more time. Wait for we get it back. Can you see me? All right, third time's a charm. We're back. <laughs> uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try and get through as much of this as we can uh, while fighting with mm-hmm. network issues. A um, couple important questions I wanted to get to before before you get out of here, uh, as well as one fun little exercise I wanted to get out there. Um, let me ask you this. Um, as somebody who's in the public eye, as somebody who is the face, the first lady, the queen of Nigerian battle rap right now, what is something that you think is most misunderstood about you to the people in the public eye? The whole feminist angle. The Talk whole feminist it. angle. Yeah. To be honest, I don't even know what a feminist is. I don't even know what a feminist is. I, I keep trying to understand it, but different different people speaking about it come with different perspectives, and I'm like, I may need the Holy Spirit to help me with this one. But the fact that a female is participating in a male-dominated sport, the uh, the ideology that she's coming to challenge the male, challenge the males around in order to dominate them and uh and 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 how do i explain this now oh you're a female you shouldn't be here you're just only here because you want to form that uh, women can be better than men or women can do uh, you're, you're trying to rub shoulders with the men you're trying to make it a... when i hear when i hear statements like that i'm like i i, I begin to look at you differently i begin to look like the, the person speaking differently like this, this is a sport for everybody. Everybody can get involved in this. So making, that's your, just your insecurities about life yeah, that you are projecting. That you see a woman step up to the plate and actually participate in a male dominated sport. It's not because she's trying to threaten the other males there. She just has a passion for it and she wants to engage, simple. So that's one of the things that is most misunderstood about me that, okay, I'm coming to, um, oh, you know, you know, Danny had that angle against me when we battled. The whole feminism angle, like, oh, she's a feminist and she's trying to, like, I, 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 it's, it's, I, I get tired of it. I really get tired of it. I'm like, can y'all just stop? Because that just sounds like you're insecure. That sounds like you're coming from an angle, like you feel the female is coming to threaten your place. That's not what's going to happen. The stage is big enough. Everybody can, because me, what will hold water for me is not who I beat, but how, how, how well, like how far I go into the game. Do you understand my point? Let, let me give Absolutely. you an example. Someone like C3. C3 has been, she has been, she has been um, called the underdog for the longest of times. For a long time, 
she kept she kept doing her thing and then just recently she won the um the tournament twenty five thousand uh dollars a prize from um, Remy, um from Chrome. I think uh, Remy Ma had uh, Remy Ma had this uh this tournament and she she actually won it. She she went up against um caution, Lady Caution, and then she she won it. And she's beginning to get the, the props that she deserves right now, the flowers that she deserves. Years after she has been fired since she has been fired, C3 has been fired since right up to this point. Right now she's a vet and she's getting the flowers that she deserves. So it's not really about it's not really about how many people you, you, you beat, whether or not you beat this person, you beat that person, you beat that person. Your consistency, your consistency and you coming out with fire and dope material every time. It's never. She was cooking. Hold up. We got to <laughs> ah, come on. Someone, this is someone who tried to. Can you hear me? All right. You're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. Ah, you went away. All right, all right, all right. A call came through. Sorry, I got a call. I got a call. All I got right. a call. Tell them you are in the middle of the most me? important yeah, interview someone... of your life right now that we cannot be bothered <laughs> by pedestrian phone calls at this time. I shouldn't talk shit. I just I made a network freeze. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's all good. Um... Um, this she she was able to work through it and then come out strong, remain consistent, and be. Doing great, and now she's getting the flowers that she deserves. Not just in battle rap, they have what they're trying to. They have... We're getting it in clips. Have what they are, what they are, what they are fighting, how strong they are. So that's positive. Take five. We're we're kind of back. Hey, she's back. All right. Um, all right. All right. Let me let, let me just wrap it up. Let me just wrap it up. Basically, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come in with the People come in with a feminist angle. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. That's the most misunderstood part about me because I have this. Strong persona that I, that, that, that I'm, and tries to bully the guys or try to like, I can't even, I'm not even, I'm not even trying. I'm to do that. I'm just, I'm just expressing my, my craft. Me, um, I'm bossy or maybe. Um, uh, I'm, I'm incorrigible. Fair enough. Uh, for those on our side where that took 17 minutes to get the, the one sentence out, uh, in summation, the, the, the idea that, that, that you're being here is, some, is, is part of some type of uh, feminist crusade of equality is not the case. Uh, you're just here to, uh, to throw down and, and bar it the fuck up with everybody else. Uh that's a that would you say that's an accurate summation from our side of things could you say that again please yeah, yeah no just the, the entire sentences that you were doing were cut up so i was just saying in, in summation uh the the thing that you said was mis most misunderstood is that your being here is not a feminist crusade or some type of activist movement exactly. uh it's that you're, mm -hmm. you're just here to, to to bar shit up with everybody else because you like the sport it's got nothing to do with an agenda exactly exactly thank you Thank you. Thank you. See, I, got, I got you. I didn't want to, I, 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 I didn't want to sum it up and then to be like, ah, you won't even let her talk her own point. Then I was going to get fucking trapped. I was like, I should just sit here and sh shut the fuck <laughs> up. Wait, we'll, we'll wait for this network to figure it out. So I don't get canceled. This is going to be great. <laughs> All right. Um, wow, I hope we can get through this. Uh, you, did, you did it, but you got it right. Let's go. Look, uh, I just wanted to say it has been absolutely incredible for you to have taken the opportunity to come and chop it up with us up until your network has tried to tried to sabotage the end of it. But it's all right. We got a lot of good content out, and this is not the last time that we're going to get to chop it up. Uh, I also have it on recording that you said I get to come on the podcast and talk my shit. So you guys will see me 
uh, on Queen Motors podcast as yeah. well. Uh, any type of message, any goodbyes that you want to say to the GS gang, to any of the what's that, uh, uh, any of the World on the Streets fans or anything like that? Yes, most definitely. Shouts out to the GS gang. Happy birthday to you in advance. I know that hey. part coming up is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a celebration of your birthday. So great work you're doing great work putting out the materials that you're putting out and so showing as much support you. you are a gem of immeasurable value to the culture i'm fine with it freezing right there i'm so lucrative. if that's the last thing that i ever hear from her i'm taking that as a huge w <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to wrap this up. Yo, the network has been <laughs> killing the last 15 minutes of this. Uh, QM, you know how I feel. I love you. I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, we will chop again soon. Make sure you guys go uh, keep an eye out yeah. on the upcoming battles. Tap in with our podcast. Tap in with the battles that are already up. Word on the streets, you know what it is. We're going to get a network situation uh, figured out. Uh, until then, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will catch y'all on the next one. Let's fucking go. Get, 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 get out. Get out.